Hello. In this short video, we are going to see the naming conventions for a RESTful uh, API. So very basic uh, information on the REST APIs. So we have client, which could be your browser, which could be your mobile clients or any Postman kind of clients from where you can call these REST APIs, which are nothing but some business logic plus uh, some data which is probably coming from the database. So from the REST API, how you would be uh, getting the data, there are the HTTP verbs which are mentioned here. You can utilize these HTTP verbs and get your data. And data is primarily in the JSON format. So that's uh, REST API at a high level. Now, if we have to see these HTTP verbs, so get is for reading the resource, post is for inserting, put is for updating the data. So put is same like uh, post, but if the data is already present, it replaces the data which is already there, resource data which is already there. Patch is updating the data. So it replaces a specific section because put and patch is little conf confusing. So we will see it in more details in the next uh, slide. Delete is meant for deleting the resource. Now uh, let's quickly see the difference between patch and put with the help of example. So if you see here, we have this resource which is there with a username and email. Now I do a patch here. So basically I am changing, this has a wrong domain. So I'm changing it to gmail.com. So that's where I use a patch to do the update. And post the update, I can see that the email is the only thing which has changed in the resource. So this is patching, updating a specific section of a resource. Wherein in uh, put, if in case I'm doing a put, I am doing the same operation, but I'm using put instead of a patch. And then the resource gets completely replaced. So if I fetch the resource again after the put, I am seeing that the email is updated, but at the same time, username is also gone because the entire resource is replaced. So that's the difference between patch and put. Now let's go ahead and see the uh, see how our API uh, URL looks like. Uh, so we have the protocol HTTP, HTTPS, we have the domain name, we have the port, then we have the service name, a RESTful service name. If we are doing versioning of the services, we shall be putting the version after the service name and then the resource, the resource which we want to fetch and the parameter which we want to give. Okay. And this uh, next slide is the one where we are going to see where the crux of the PPT is going to come here. So the conventions for naming the RESTful API. So the first thing is we have to use nouns, not verbs. So for example, if we see here, we are using pet. We are using pet. So this is for posting a new pet. So adding a new pet resource. So I'm not calling add pet. Instead, it is pet. So it adds a pet that is understood with the noun and the verb. So noun and verb would give the meaning. Uh, uh, noun and HTTP verb. So this is HTTP verb. We don't have to use the verb in the in the uh, in the URL. So use nouns with appropriate HTTP verb. That's the first thing. The second thing is that uh, resource hierarchy. So for example, we are seeing here an example of a resource hierarchy. So resource our hierarchy would be giving us what resource and what action we have to take on it. For example, here I have a pet uh, a collection. From the pet collection, I am getting a specific pet with this pet ID. And for that specific pet ID, I'm uploading the image. So I would not be calling it like this. I won't be uh, using a pet upload image and then pet ID because it would not give a proper hierarchy. So first I will choose which pet and then I'll be doing the upload image on it. So that's how it should be done. The other example can be the one which is mentioned below. Let me select a highlighter. So if you see here, the next example, so I am getting customer whose ID is this and I'm getting all the orders of that specific customer. So that's what is the resource hierarchy which should be used appropriately. So then if I go to the next one, so so this is uh, the difference between a query uh, string vis-a-vis -vis path. So when to use a path and when to use a query string. So if in case I'm fetching a pet, 
so let's say pet and pet id i give here the same thing i can do with the help of a query also i can say pet id equal to some number so i would be using this format when i am doing a resource selection i know that the pet id is this and if in case I'm putting a wrong pet ID, I should be getting a 404. So here I'm very, very specific that I want to get a pet ID, uh, which I'm already aware. And if in case this pet ID is not present, I want to get a 404. Wherein if I do a query string, so query string is like I'm querying. I, I am querying for a specific data. And if in case it is not there, I'll get an empty list. So for example, I want to get list of pets which have color yellow. So if none of the pets have color yellow, I'll be getting an empty uh, list here and not a 404. And this kind of thing, the querying can be used in pagination also. So for example, I want to go to the, uh, the offset 24 and limit 7. So for pagination also, I can use the, uh, the query parameters. So these are the basic uh, rules which we have to follow when naming our APIs.